Hello, welcome back. Our next game is Merchant, which I originally downloaded from this site here. So in this game, we are going to learn how to hack floating point numbers, which are of type double. So the objective of this game is to grow your inventory and profit from your trade. So you are supposed to earn gold coin. So this is your inventory, your shop. You have a shop button down here, and when you click shop, uh, here you can see your coins. In this case, 1.2 million, and then you also can see your coins uh, when you're doing trading. Here, the coin, how much the cost, and this is your coin, and so on. So that's our objective: to hack this coin, to increase it to any amount we want. So as usual. Please use the version that I'm using, which is version 3.071, so that you can follow along. I provided this version for you in the downloads, uh, in the resource section for this lecture. So please use that version. So go download it and install it as usual by dragging it and dropping it in your LD player. And now you will see the install has succeeded. And we can now start the game by clicking on the on the game. Here is a merchant. So let's click on it to launch the game. And this game is uh, in portrait mode. As you can see, it's portrait mode. And then, uh, so just follow the, the tutorial here. Click on this. Hire a hero for 250. Click on this. Just click on anyone. Hero stat. Okay, fine. Just click on this next button. Now, let's put your hero to work. Click on this button. And can you handle a bush? Alright, your first quest. Right, click on this now. First quest. Forest gathering. Cost zero. So let's click on the right button to start the first quest. So you have to wait for this uh, progress bar to complete. As we are doing the questing, a simulated questing. Two seconds, one second, and we completed the quest, and now we collect the reward. So, we got our rewards. Alright, so let's click anywhere. Alright, this is our battle report. Let's click anywhere, click the back button, click outside, and click here, and click here. So it says here you can do something with them, so click on this. And then follow the instructions. Click here now. Okay, so now click over here. Crafting. Making some portions. Alright, fine. So we're going to make a portion. Click on this. Follow the instruction. Click right here. And notice we have 800 coins. So now we can start scanning for this in memory. So go to home here. Fire up your game guardian. Click start. And then here, click on your game game guardian floating icon, and then click on the merchant process to attach to it. And here, uh, we know that we have eight hundred coins, so let's click on this to do a search for eight hundred. Now, in this uh, game, the coins are coded in uh, double. Earlier we did float, but this one is double. Alright, I, I know it's double because I tried this. So if you, had, if you didn't know what it was in the first place, you might need to do trial and error one by one. So in this case, it's double, so I just directly click on double. And then the rest, no need to change. Click on new search. So this will take some time. Uh, I will pause the video and come back once it's done. So the search has completed and we have uh, 113 hits. So let's do something to change the value of the coins. So let's go back to our merchant. And here it says select an item to craft. Alright, accept the default. Click on this button here. Perfect. Portion should be done in no time. So now the portion is done. We are down to 790 coins. So now we can refine our search. Go back to home. And then click on Game Guardian. Now we're going to refine our search, click on this button and change our value to 790 coins. 
click refine and we are down to 1. Now we can directly edit this by increasing to any amount we want. So click on the edit button and then key in 9999. Click yes. Alright, so now let's close this and go back to our game. And just click the instructions, portion is ready. Alright, it's done. Click anywhere. And click on this button. Click on this button, go back. We follow the instructions, click on stock. Click on this to continue. Click again. And click on this. Alright, so now let's click on instructions to sell. And click on the next button and it says our portion should be in the shop click on the next button let's find it click next and now we click on the shop click this again and we will see that click again you see we have 9999 coins see that and our our portion is there in the shop so this is how we can hack a floating point uh, that floating point number of type double so if you click on this and sell it so sold for 15 coins so now we see our in our coin has increased by 15 coins from 999 to 10014 so it is working so that's all for this video thank you for watching